Hey guys, this is Tension, and I'm bringing you another Raid Shadow Legends video, and today I'm going to be going over um, why it's important to have four champions that you designate for Arena, and by designate I mean that you actually spend the thousands of energy to farm Minnow and build their masteries for Arena only. Also investing in artifacts that the stats are better for Arena versus other things like Dungeon and Clan Boss. You would think that they're universal, but in a lot of cases it's more important to have certain stats like actually resistance and stuff depending on what kind of comp you're going for. Um, and not just that, but also making sure to invest in four champions where they work together based on their abilities. So let's just jump right into it. I'll show you what I mean. So as you guys can see, I'm pretty close to being near the top of Arena. There's a reset on Monday, and I have done just basically 10 battles a day to maintain my status. Um, if I do my 12 battles a day for the clan boss uh, medals, because as you know, in order to get three... Stars for your clan, you need to do 12 uh, arena battles and two clan bosses a day, so if possible, you need to be doing that. Um, it really helps out the clan, because if one person misses it, it will slowly reset to where you're missing that bonus once a week or so. But getting into it. So let's do. So here's my arena team. And there's been a lot of thought. thought. There's been a lot of thought process, a lot of things that have gone into it, and this is going to be a domination. So, it's, But... Um, the most important factors when you build your arena team is you have a speed or leader, a boosting champion that boosts turn meter and speed, or one or the other and has a high high one. So if it's, if it's just one, it's okay if that's all you have, but you want one that has both. Um, and then two nukers. And then not just that, but let me show you. So this is going to be easy. One. I might not even get through a full rotation here, but let's just go into it. Watch me lose this one. I'm just going to auto this one. Yeah, that was the easy one. All right. Let's do this one. So I'm going to do it fast for a few turns, and then I will do a manual and go a little slow and explain how I built this team up and why I built them the way I did. <laughs> Look at this. All golds. Let's see how it goes. All right, so this is why speed is important. As you can see, I am going to go first on all my champions because all of them are above the third bar, so they're all about 80% right now. They are about the same, but with the speed, uh, her ability to make everyone increase their speed and also increase their turn meter, now everyone is guaranteed to go first. So all my champions are going to go. So I have speed aura first, speed manip manipulation second. I'm sorry, first turn this champion. This champion is going to last as my cleanup, but I have him as my leader for the turn meter. So, now, I have my two nukers. So, at first, I have, and they work together, so they're, this is a little special case, but honestly, any kind of nukers is all you need here. And they have counterattack on. So now, so let me, this is a perfect example here. So, I did not kill them in turn one. So, my goal here now is my cleanup spot, the fourth attacker, is to delay their turns. So, I'm going for the stuns here. Anyone that gets stunned, right, kills one, stuns another. So that's perfect. So now he has lost two turns on... I'm sorry, yeah, one turn on two champions. Now, he's got this... Oh, yeah. By the way, Phoenix also blocks uh, buffs, so it didn't even matter. How did I do that? That was dumb. Remove buff. Get counterattacked. Get some more speed. Turn the tables. And there we go. This should kill it, actually. Boom. Pop. Right in the face. So let's go back into it. So that's three wins. And like I said, I usually go 10 for 10. A lot of times it's 9 out of 10 because I run into one of those comps that just is built so perfectly. Um, let's go into why. How I have them built. So I have all their speed a certain way to where... They are very close to each other. Well, this one's just... I need her to go first no matter what. So that's why her speed's so high. But then I have to where she goes first, second, third, fourth. And I will not change their speed no matter what I do with their stats. Um, because their rotation is almost more important than their abilities and damage. Because I have a step in a way where my Phoenix and Talia are my nukers. A lot of times I win with just them. But, like you just saw, I need him to go in there and... 
if he can get two stuns off at the end of my turn, my rotation, it takes away their full rotation. And a lot of times, just taking out one champion out of a rotation will totally disrupt what the other team is going for. Now, I don't know if maybe as being put as much thought as, into this as I do. They probably just throw their best four champions together and just wreck people all the way up here. But if you want to be the best at Arena, there is some strategy that goes into it. So as you see, their turn meters are almost full, but because I had to go, I went first and I boosted all my turn meters to top, I go first no matter what. It's just the way it works. That block damage is so annoying. Uh, you cannot let him ever go first, otherwise you lose. Unless you, you have a um, removal of some type. I just wait for 30 seconds while he just blocks everything. The bomb should go off after his turn. No, because then he would get to attack off it. But there we go. I'm just going to go down the list, see if I can go 10 for 10 while doing this live. Um, most important stats. I guess, okay, so most important stats for Arena. Obviously speed. Now speed is important. Again, though, having a high speed and just having someone who is able to boost their turn meter. If you boost your turn meter to full, and even if the other team has a full turn meter, it prioritizes you. So if your booster can go first and your other allies are going to get full off his ability or her ability, they will go next. So you can manipulate it into where you have your team go first no matter what. So speed is important, but mainly... Having the highest speed is only important for your your booster. After that, it's going to be 100% crit no matter what. Um, it's going to be champions with abilities that boost stats. And it's going to be AoE abilities that have also um, good debuffs. So that is the priority. See, I didn't kill any of them, so going for the stuns, it killed two of them, so it doesn't even matter. But he's also a really high-hitting champion. And again, though, you don't need all legendaries to win Arena. You need good comp. Um, this works out well because this team is one of each type. So I've said before, but I got lucky to where I have one Void, one Force, one Magic, one Spirit. Um, so I should never run to a team that is a disadvantage. Everything's pretty much going to be equal. This team is a very hard team to kill, but it should be fine. Even though with counter, pretty strong champion. Champion Souls, we're going to be very angry. Damn, I might get soloed here. Phoenix doesn't do a golly move here. Oh, I just got soloed by one champion. That's embarrassing on live. That's the power of one broken champ, though. I needed that one to get stunned. I'm going to do that one again. I want to beat this all legendary team. Let's try this again. Why did he not? Do you see that? Okay, sometimes the AI is really stupid. I don't know why he used shred there. I don't care if it kills anyone or not. That's the stunning ability is ten times more important than shred. So. sleep wow so I did perfectly fine there I actually was in a very good position but my AI used the wrong ability which in turns might have cost me at least he got stunned so you can't counter attack even that AoE is so annoying oh my god or it's not AoE it's whatever but there we go alright still on that one going for the 90% win rate 9 out of 10 out oh, it's uh, pretty weird this is a pretty easy not easy, but a lighter than normal um, group of 10. So how this is going on though. So why is, why is what's the whole point of what I'm making here? So I've said in multiple videos, I have tips for any new players or even experienced players. What is the priority in this game? Top priority, number one, hands down, is getting a 12-3 farmer above anything else. Brutal 12-3 farmer. Anyone who can clear it in less than 20 seconds. I have one... Um, Saris, who can do it in 8 flat every single time, sometimes 7 if the game's not laggy. Uh, 
I can farm up gold, so I'm just gold. Farm up silver, farm up uh, XP for my champions uh, really fast. Uh, the reason why this is also super important is because in the morning before I go to work, even if I can't play very long, I will use up all my energy. Um, and it takes me like three minutes to do that, even without the 40 free battles, whatever. I can literally manually go through and do it real fast while I'm just making some breakfast or coffee. And so it makes it easier for me to train my champions and get ahead in the game, and, you know, because this is a grindy game. There's grindy aspects of it. Second most important thing above anything else about clan damage, dungeons, minnow, all that stuff is having a good arena team. And the reason I reason why that is, as I think I lose this one. Maybe let's see where fast someone see what happens. Yeah, I think I lose one. So the reason why a good arena team is so important is because the benefits you get from arena, while they it takes forever to get them up in the ground hall, great hall. They're universal, and they last forever. So I made another video recently talking about what's wrong with the Great Hall. It takes too long to get one maxed out, which is, I still believe. But when you upgrade these, when you do this one right here for the accuracy, which accuracy will be the next ones I work on, this is universal for all Magic Champions for the rest of the time you play this game. So farming arena is super important. Also for the fact that when you do this, your members, in order to get the stars, you have to do 12 fights a day. So, I know for a fact, the one reason why people always get two out of three is not because they're not doing their clan boss hits. It's not because they're not playing for 90 minutes. It's people don't do arena every day. Or they do their 10 battles barely throughout the day. But you can do 12 arena battles in a day without, without spending any money. Without spending any resources. Because you get it should be 10 start off the day. And then it restocks one every hour. So as long as you log in again at some point and do two battles, it's easy to do. So this is the point where I... Don't understand why some people don't ever get three stars if they're a high level player, but hey, whatever. So that so that's I got kind of off a tangent there, but so you need to be doing at least twelve battles a day, and once you have a good arena team, eight out of ten is the minimum. So I just win eight out of ten. Eight out of ten battles I will win. So out of twelve, let's just say I win nine out of twelve on a good day. It's mostly twelve out of twelve, but let's say ten out of twelve. So every day I'm getting forty gold medals with minimum effort because I have a good arena team. So over the course of a week, 40 times 7, what is that, 280, so 280 gold medals. That is a small dent in how long it takes to get your Great Hall maxed out, but it's a long process that you're working on. So having that completed earlier in the game rather than later is going to benefit you so much in your clan boss damage, your dungeon clearing time, your speed, your overall enjoyment of the game. Um, the Great Hall is universal and it's wonderful. Even though it sucks and takes so long for it to get up. <laughs> so again, so 12-3 farmers, top priority, our arena team, and then clan boss, dungeon damage, all that kind of crap comes next. Arena is second to focus on, hands down. That's my opinion. If you want to talk about it, leave a comment below. If you guys like this video, um, go ahead and like it. Uh, sub to the channel. I hope that uh, this helped in any way. If you have any questions about my arena team or how to build our arena team, ask away. And as always, till next time, thanks for stopping by.